Hey guys, welcome to episode number 276. Today is Monday, so it's update Monday. And we have quite a few updates here in the fish room. So I'll get right to it. Uh, you might notice there's a green bag that's missing over here. Uh, what I decided to do was kind of simplify the, the filter setup. And uh, I actually took some mesh um, material and just went ahead and stuck that right here over this uh, Fluval FX5 overflow and that seems to be working out pretty well. Um, just frees up some more space in this tank. And while I was at it, I took the, uh, the pump, which was also in that bag, and I just stuck a pre-filter sponge over that. You might be able to see it there on the bottom. It's kind of hard to see. There's a pre-filter sponge over that. So that's pumping up here into our 55 gallon Skippy filter which is still kind of in the works, um, but it's coming along. Uh, what I've decided to do was install a five gallon barrel inside of the 55 gallon barrel and use that as my mechanical filtration uh, before I get into the biologic filtration. So basically what this is, is we've got the blue bonded filter uh, pad, we've got the Matala, um, we've got the, the medium and then the coarse is underneath that and the bottom of this bucket is actually drilled with a bunch of holes so essentially what happens is the water comes into this bucket swirl, swirls around a little bit and goes to the bottom and exits through the bottom um, so this blue bonded filter pad I'm gonna have to replace or at least wash out every few days because it does get pretty filthy um, but then, you know, after that, I get most of the heavy stuff out of this barrel, which is good. And then the plan is um, to replace these bio balls with K1 media. Haven't gotten there yet, but for right now, this is going to have to do. I'll shorten up that hose and uh, make this a little bit prettier in the future. But for right now, it's functional. I also went ahead and moved uh, my Eheim heaters uh, into this. They were previously in the uh, in the 300 gallon stock tank here, so I'm just starting to uh, you know neaten some stuff up and get it uh, into the place where it should be. So still a work in progress, but as you can see, I've got the airline in there, and when I get some K1 media in there, this thing will be uh, in pretty good shape. So that's first on the list of updates. Uh, I also got some. Uh, uh, some more new life food in and I actually opted to get a big bucket of the flake food uh, because the fish do go through that quite a bit so pretty excited about that also I picked up some algae gel um, so I'll be cooking some of that up to see how that works out um, but other than that I just got some of the uh, some of the wafers I've got small fish formula uh, I am pretty much exclusively feeding uh, New Life at this point and uh, it's working out pretty well. The fish are pretty happy about it. Um, so as long as they're not complaining, uh, I'm not really going to change that up. So fish are doing good. I'm actually seeing quite a few fry uh, in these tanks now that there's a little bit more plant cover. Uh, so I'm happy about that. I did move the mini fridge here. Uh, into a more accessible spot. It was over there in the corner and I just wasn't able to get to it as easy uh, as I would like so now it's kind of out in the open and I can uh, access it quite a bit more and as we move over here I'm actually going to turn this dehumidifier off so uh, we can talk a little bit better but uh, this is actually the, the most exciting part of the update in here as you can see I do have K1 Media um, but you might not be familiar with this particular K1 media. This is actually the K1 Micro, which is quite a bit smaller than your typical K1 Calmness media. And uh, it was actually specifically designed for aquariums. Uh, you know, K1 Calmness was created for ponds uh, and for aquaculture. And so many people in the aquarium hobby, I'm sure a lot of people watching this video, uh, use K1 columnists in their systems that they decided to uh, actually create a smaller version of K1 
K1 Micro. It looks almost identical to K1, it's just quite a bit smaller and uh, it's actually supposed to be designed um, for the aquarium. The uh, It actually came in a, a 50 liter bag here and I decided to, to post um, that on the wall. It's 950 meters uh, squared per meter cubed of protected surface area that's on the inside uh, of these wheels. So basically if you don't know how this, uh, how this media works, um, you get uh, your beneficial bacteria growing within your system. It basically coats all the walls of everything in your, uh, your aquarium system. And the inside of these wheels uh, are going to protect and house those bacteria and uh, they will live happily uh, on that surface. And then the outside of the surface with the little uh, the wagon wheel um, points is uh, going to be constantly tumbling, constantly turning in this uh, aeration and basically what it does is it promotes only the most healthy bacteria uh, to grow on the outside surface of the K1 media. Uh, therefore you're getting the, the most uh, nitrification, uh, nitrifying bacteria growing, the healthiest bacteria growing within your system at all times. It's self-cleaning so again all of those surfaces are going to bump and rub against one another and uh, you know all the old stuff, all the dead and dying bacteria are going to fall off and those are going to be discarded and they're going to be replaced by healthy new bacteria. Pretty exciting stuff. It means I'll basically never have to clean this barrel and I'm excited about that. Um, this stuff was not cheap it's pretty expensive for, for a bucket full of plastic. Uh, it's pretty expensive, but uh, this stuff is really like gold uh, in the aquarium hobby. So I'm pretty happy I finally have that in. I basically dumped the whole 50 liter bag uh, in this barrel, and I think that's where I'm going to keep it at. Um, a lot of it just kind of floats here until uh, you get some, some bacteria growing on it, and then it tends to sink a little bit more. This has been in here for a few days, so it's, uh, it's circulating pretty good here. I've got the strong aeration on that, so, um, you know, we should expect to see within a month or two this uh, start to dis discolor a little bit, and uh, it will be basically become neutrally buoyant at that point, and uh, it will circulate quite a bit better. Uh, inside that barrel. You can see along the edges some of it's just kind of uh, sitting still. But um, you know as this progresses it'll get better and better and um, within the next month or two once this is fully cycled I will then be able to extend my um, aquarium setup here and add four more aquariums to the top of this breeder rack. So anyways guys that's the update for today some pretty exciting stuff. I'm really happy to get the uh, the K1 Micro in here. I'm really considering buying another bag, probably just the K1 Calmness, the uh, the original stuff, and putting that into the uh, the turtle filter. But for right now, um, this fish system is basically up and running. Um, one more piece of exciting news: these lights are about to go. Um, I've got a super secret project coming up with uh, building LED lights. It's going to be a lot of fun. I'm going to make a lot of videos on it. I'm going to show you guys how to do it um, for super cheap compared to what you would pay for an LED light uh, in a store. And you can customize it to any shape and size that you want and uh, you can really keep the price down. Uh, it's going to be basically an exclusive on this channel, never really been done before, and uh, I'm excited about it. So, more on that soon, but the lighting will be installed, more tanks will be installed, and more fun stuff is going to be happening soon in this fish room. Anyways guys, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys later.